guys, it's Half I am back again. This is going to be an update for the year-long project pan roulette that I am doing with Connie, Zelma, Liz and Leah. Um, so let's get into it. Um, I will go through the things that I had already used um, up to this point. So we have the Natio Enhancer, which was the highlighter to hit pan. And there is pan. And that's there. Then we had the product that cost $10 or less, which was the BYS HD finishing powder. I've actually since put a different powder in there. But it is finished. The Australis finishing spray is all done. I really like this. I have another one sitting there waiting for me. The Pons BB Miracle Age Plus. I really like this. I wish I could get hold of it. Uh, if I was somewhere like India, I would be able to, but not here in Australia. Uh, the Elf Lip Exfoliator. This is the original version of it. Uh, Nivea Night Cream. came out face primer I decluttered because I really didn't like it very much. The, where are we on to? Uh, the 11 Miracle Hair Treatment. I actually kind of missed this one. The Suki Exfoliator, which was a product that smells good. I've since put another product in the container that it was in. The product I will always repurchase was the Manicare cuticle oil, I mean any cuticle oil, effectively. And the Urban Skincare Co. Uh, body balm, that was like one of the first things to go. So that's everything I've used so far. I have actually finished a product this month, so that's always good to be able to say. So the product that I finished was the product you would only buy on sale, which was the Seshfeet Top Coat Refill. This is as empty as it is going to get. I can't really get any more out of that. Um, the actual bottle is still got some in it, but I always just like top up my bottle, so it was more finishing this off. So that one is now done, so I will be able to pull out a new thing. So I'm just going to draw a line through that to remind myself. Okay, so onto the things that I have not finished and I'm still working on. The Avon Arabian Glow Bronzing Pearls. I should really find a picture from my intro to compare this to. There's still plenty of stuff in there, but they are getting used and I think I am starting to see progress in them. The oldest blush to hit pan is the Maybelline Wild Blossom. I've actually started trying to work around on the edges where I figured it was like a bit thinner. Um, it is flattening out quite a bit. I've been using this one a bit more. So on this side here, it is actually more flat than the other side. So that's basically where I've been concentrating my brush. So um, I think I figure eventually I will get there. Uh, the uh, coloured eyeliner, the Rimmel Scandalize in uh, bright blue. I have made a teeny tiny bit of progress. Um, that is the progress I made from one use, which was today. <laughs> Basically, pretty sure it's one of the only times I've worn it. Um, I heavily lined my upper eyelid. The sparkly product was the um, Cargo Lip Gloss in Sahara. Um, it pretty much doesn't appear to have moved too much from where it was last time. Um, 
I keep on knocking it over so it's a bit hard to tell. But I've only used it a couple of times. Like I'm using it today and I've used it a couple of times and that's it. The lip gloss from Clean Colour in Sealed Secret, I literally have not used at all. It's the dark purple one. Um, yeah, have not used that at all this month. The highlighter, the favourite highlighter to hit pan, second highlighter in this project, is the Lorac Perfectly Lit in uh, Luminous. So, I don't know if you can tell, but there's, there's a really big dent bit in this area right here. This is actually where I've been putting my brush. Um, so... Hopefully it's not too far away from pan actually. It's it's fairly deep dent bit in there. Uh, this is actually the highlighter that I am using mostly at the moment. Um, since I hit pan in a different one. <laughs> so um, the product you always love when you use it was this brown eyeshadow from the um, LAC palette was like right here. No, I have not used it up. It looks like that, but that is not actually the case. Um, I took it and uh, over time from my Models Prefer Shadows palette, because they are almost exactly the same colour, um, and I actually repressed them both together into this little container here. Um, it's very, very thin. There's not a whole lot of product in there. So that's how I'm using that one up. So That'll be two from two different projects finished at the same time. The Natural Instincts Eye Cream. Um, I have been using this fairly solidly, um, but that is where we are now. Progress is super duper slow because you don't need very much and it doesn't let you pull out, like squeeze out very much at a time. So yeah, this is going to take forever. There's a reason it has 12 months life on it because that's how long it would take you to use just that tube. The expensive makeup product was the um, primer from Inika. Um, obviously I cannot see how much is in here um, but I keep on using it and it doesn't feel any different. Probably if I weighed it I would know um, but it just keeps on keeping on. The product out of your comfort zone is the Kate by Rimmel number 45 which is a nude it is actually part of what I've got on my lips today I have been using it a fair bit but it doesn't actually look any different and when I measured it it still looked exactly the same even though I know I've used it several times um, the next one is the La Cura Deep Cleansing Seaweed Facial Scrub. This is an Audi brand. I have no idea where I am in here. I just keep on using it. And now that I've finished my other one that was in a different project, um, this is the only facial scrub that I've been using. So it should go a bit faster now. The Eye Primer was the designer brand's Eye Primer. I have no idea where I am in this because it is not um, see-through. Um, it's just a clear gel type. It's just clear. It doesn't show up on your lids. And it's fine. And it still works. And there still seems to be heaps of product in there. Though I have no idea. I promise always take forever because you don't use very much. The colourful eye product was the Tarina Tarantino Purple Velvet Eyeshadow, which is, um, oops, I always do that, um, it's like a spongy thing and that's the product down there. I have used this at least a couple of times, but it's one of those products you're really not going to see progress until there's like almost none left anyway. And the last one is the favourite product from Category of Choice, which was the Grace Coal Hand Cream in Pineapple and Passion Fruit. And I am 
I was there when I put this back in, into a project and now I am there. So it is making progress. So I need to draw one out of my box of fabulousness of different ideas and hopefully it will be something nice and easy to work with. So for my current favourite product, I'm putting in another flash face powder, seeing as how it's not in a project and I'm using it every time I do my makeup. That is the NYX HD Finishing Powder. This is basically white. Um, it looks like that. I've only been using it for a little while, so it's pretty full. Um, it is what I use to set underneath my eyes. I use a different powder to do the rest of my face, but this is what I use underneath my eyes. So I'm just going to... It's a very fine powder. Um, so... Taking into account that when you tap it down on the side, half of it ends up in the lid. It is about the ish. So that will be our starting point for that particular product. I'm just going to flatten it out back in the bottom so it's not all in the lid when I open it up. So that is everything for this update of the Project Pan Roulette collab. The other ladies will be linked down below. Connie won't be putting a video out this month. She has just moved and it's not quite set up yet. But everybody else, I'll still link Connie, but everyone else's videos will be linked down below. Um, and if you want to subscribe, click the button down there, leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan Top videos, and leave me a comment down below, I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.